Hi everyone, today we're going to be trying to replicate Mario's dive mechanic in Game Builder Garage. Now this won't be like a Super Mario Sunshine dive that takes into account Mario's downward physical movement, but instead more like the Mario Odyssey dive, which will always generate a similar level of upward and forward movement. I think it's more reliable and it lets you count on it for precise platforming. We're back on our island with our Mario wannabe character, and he needs to learn a dive so that he can cover this gap and get to the treasure. The dive is going to extend his jump range. Normally, I like to use a moving box for this and apply forces to it, but because we want it to be almost physics independent, we're actually going to use teleports. So we'll bring in an X-Hinge connector, a box, and a teleport exit. We'll attach them all together, and then bring in a constant node on for the X-Hinge value. In this case, we'll set it to negative 45. That will have our box object facing forward at a slanted angle. We'll make the box invisible and non-solid with a connection point of center center and a size of 0.4 all around. We'll set the teleport physics to reset with a speed of 10 and a direction of Y positive. Then we'll add in our teleport entrance and we'll make sure that it accepts the person object and we'll attach it to our person. All that's left is the mechanic for engaging and disengaging the teleport, and a flag to keep track of whether we are in a dive or our dive has ended. We'll add in a button node on, set it to on press, we'll add in a flag, an and, and a not. When we press the button, and the flag is currently not on, then we'll turn the flag on. The flag we'll use to manage the animation state. We can't rotate the person object at all, sadly, so I think the closest action is kick. Then we can take the output of this and node on and send it in to the teleport entrance. To cancel or leave the dive, we'll add a touch sensor to the bottom of our person node on with a connection setting of Y positive, Y negative in a size of 0 0.4, 0 0.10, 0 0.4. We'll attach that to our person and the output will go into the off input of the flag. So when we touch the floor, we're turning off the flag that dictates our is diving state. And now you can see it creates a clean and repeatable physical motion in the form of a forward dive. You can use this to extend your jumps and you won't be able to continuously mash the diving button until you've touched the floor. And there are also different ways to extend and adapt this to different use cases.